Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Wednesday. Glad you can join me on this devotional today. It's it's uh, cloudy out there right now and a cool one, about 29 degrees I saw on the thermometer this morning, but uh, at least no rain, right? And uh, hopefully the sun will be peeking out here in a little bit. Um, so check in time, how are you all doing? Pray that you continue to be safe and healthy and well. Um, we're in the midst of a Oh, quite a surge here in Marathon County in Wisconsin, so um, please, please uh, um, be safe. Take all those precautions that I'll, I'll remind you of at the end, end of this devotional. Um, leave a question or a comment below if you have one. I do have my coffee here, some more Pastor John's Blessed Beans in my Al's Breakfast mug, so cheers, church. And our devotion for today comes from Christ in Our Home written by Bethany Ringdahl from St. Paul, Minnesota, where she lives with her sweet husband and sweet baby. She is the mission developer of Hostel for Seeking Souls, a new church for people who are eager to improve our country's immigration system. And they are praying about providing short-term housing for asylum seekers. And our scripture reading for today is Matthew 24, verses 29 to 35. Matthew 24, 29 to 35. And Jesus is talking here, and I believe he's in the temple. Uh, and this is Holy Week, too, a couple days before, I think this is Tuesday of Holy Week. Immediately after, after the suffering of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and it puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. And the devotion is titled, Power and Glory. And the theme verse is verse 30. Then they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. God is with those who suffer. In Jesus, God came to experience all of human life right down to death itself. And in his life, Jesus threw in his lot with the least of these, as we will hear in the chapter after today's reading, chapter 25, verse 40. Um, that will also be our, our scripture, our gospel reading for Christ the King Sunday coming up in, in two Sundays. This is all very true. And for some in the throes of life's suffering, it is a great comfort. For others, though, it doesn't feel like much help to think of God just being with them in their suffering. Today's passage is for those folks. Jesus describes a period of great struggle. Everything we trust will be shaken, including the sun and moon. And then the Son of Man will come with power and great glory. The Greek word translated here as power means action. Jesus doesn't just come to be with us, he comes to take action, to bring, whole, to bring the whole suffering world from death into new life. The kingdom of God is at hand and it is glorious and we are invited to participate. Now that's good news. Jesus comes to bring a struggling world bring the whole suffering world from death into new life. Yeah, right? That's very true. And some people like to point to what is going on in these present days and times and say, this is it, this is the end. But as we hear from Jesus, these signs and sufferings of this world are nothing new. In fact, they've been going on since almost the very beginning, right? Jesus came to take action. Jesus came to show us how to love others radically. 
Jesus came to tell us about God's, that God's kingdom is here. And Jesus came to invite us to jump in and join him in sharing the good news of God's amazing grace. And that is good news. So be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Keep washing your hands and wearing your masks. Practice physical distancing from others. And stay home as much as possible. As a body of Christ in this world, we share the light of Christ and love our neighbors as ourselves. Let's pray. Mighty God, may your kingdom come on earth. I pray with trust in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.